<laughs> I'm filming over uh, from my cozy chair right now because Arthur decided that he's gonna park himself right on my lap. So in my last video, we started in his closet and today we are going to be working in his dresser, which if you saw in the thumbnail, it is pretty messy. So as I mentioned in my previous video, we are kind of doing an out with the old, in with the new type of theme for Jose because he got a new job in IT. Um, and he used to work at the university in my town. So what he used to have to wear to work was kind of t-shirts that he didn't mind getting destroyed because he would really get dirty at work and stuff a lot. But now he's going to be wearing more professional clothing and nicer clothing um, that will not be destroyed all the time. So that's why I wanted to start 2020 with decluttering and organizing all of his clothing. So we already have purchased a lot of the pieces for his wardrobe already. He now is wearing a lot of button-up flannels and some nicer pairs of jeans that aren't getting holes and getting worn as much in them. Something he'll be getting rid of a lot is a lot of t-shirts and some of his university polos that he used to wear. So what I didn't do in the last video is I didn't show you which uh, shirts were his new ones, so I'm actually going to go show you in a second here. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and we will get decluttering as soon as Arthur is done sitting on my lap. Okay, now we can start decluttering. <laughs> so here is the closet after decluttering it, as you probably saw in my previous video, but I just wanted to show you which shirts were some of the new ones for his new job. Uh, we live in the Northwest, so uh, button-up flannels are definitely an essential in every closet, and Jose definitely loves to wear plaid. So we already had a few colors from before, but Old Navy was having a sale during the holiday season where each flannel shirt was $10. So he got the same shirt in, I think it was five different colors. So he got this one, which is kind of like a seafoam green and navy blue. Then he got this kind of slightly Christmassy red, gray, and yellow plaid, and uh, a little bit of green. This one, which on camera kind of shows up as looking kind of, well that's more like it. It kind of looked orange and black for a moment, but it's more like a red orange, like a vibrant red, I guess. This is the fourth one he got. It's kind of like a gray green olive situation. And then the last one he got of the Old Navy ones for $10, mainly green, but with like a little red stripe going through it. So yeah, those were the new pieces he got so that he could wear those to work in addition to all of his other flannels. But that's kind of like the new stuff he got for work. Um, I think he also needs to get some darker denim jeans. Uh, we're gonna be going through the jeans today in this dresser. That's our project for today. So we're gonna take inventory and see if he needs anything else for his new work wardrobe. The first drawer up, we've got pajamas <laughs> that are not folded anymore. I think he was purposely letting it get bad just so that I could have extra content to film. We have this joke in my uh, family that it's like, hey, don't clean that, it's content. So that might be why it's a little messier than usual, but that's okay, we're gonna fix that today. So we have too many pajamas here. We're gonna fix that. Stuff that back in there. We have jeans on the next drawer down and maybe some khakis, I guess. Maybe some sweatpants too, that's also kind of disorganized. I bet we could kind of think of a better situation here so this, this is just jeans mainly. Okay, next drawer down. Looks like we've got bottoms that are anything but jeans, so it's mainly um, shorts, sweatpants, and maybe some more khakis. And then the final drawer. We have, oh, this one's gonna be interesting. A lot of these are his old work shirts, so he would often wear just like the plain black t-shirt, and as you can even see just in the little preview, a lot of them are already really worn and stuff um, because it was a pretty tough job that he was doing there. Um, and then some like white undershirts, I guess. So that's what we're working with. Let's take one drawer out at a time and get decluttering.
To explain my declutter process, I'm first starting with his pajamas. He doesn't have specific matching pairs, so I'm just going to sort them in piles of shirts versus bottoms. Once those are all sorted, I'm going to take his shirts first and holding them up to him, he's going to say keep or declutter. And I'm putting the ones to give away on the right side of the screen and the keeps on the left. This is my favorite way of folding clothes to save space in a dresser. I grab with one hand between the collar and the left shoulder, and then with my other hand grab parallel to the first spot right about under the armpit. Take the top hand down to the bottom corner and grab, then lift it up, shake out the wrinkles. Then setting it face down, pull the corners that are in your hands towards you. You can stop here if you want your clothes to lay flat in a stack but I'm going to roll mine so you can wedge them in neatly and so you can see each item in the dresser without it being buried by other clothes. Also, when you roll it like this, it's nice because you can see the design on the outside so that way you can identify which shirt it is right away. Next, you can see I'm adding some pajama bottoms to the declutter pile, then rolling the keeps. So here's the pajamas that are going away. We've got bottoms and lots of t-shirts here. And then these are some duplicate t-shirts that used to be mine, but I gave to him. So we're actually just gonna put those in our keepsake box. And then here's the keep pajamas. We realize he only has four pajama bottoms. Um, and a fair amount of t-shirts. Before we continue, I just had to show you how cute my little helpers were sitting on the bed right behind me the whole time. For the jeans, same process. The keeps I'm piling next to me and the going away pile is in front of me. Also, don't forget to check your pockets before getting rid of anything like pants and coats. Okay, so these are being added to the decluttered pile. And for the keeps, we have one pair of black, two pairs of medium, and two pairs of light. He is currently wearing one pair of dark wash, which is probably the color he needs the most of. So for our shopping list, we are going to add a pair or two of new dark wash jeans. Now we are doing the non-denim bottoms and I'm sorting the shorts into categories like outdoorsy, gym shorts, and comfy shorts. After that are the dress pants and khakis. So adding to the declutter pile, the bottoms that are not denim, we got rid of some dress pants, a pair of khakis, and a pair of shorts. For keeps, we've got these like pajama shorts. There's three of them here. We're gonna see about adding those to the pajama drawer since there's a little bit of room in the pajama bottom part. And then we've got two pairs of sweatpants. I think I'm gonna add those to the jeans drawer just because he does use them just as often as jeans pretty much. The keep dress pants. He wears these a ton in the summer, but not right now while there's like four feet of snow on the ground. There's cargo shorts and like outdoorsy shorts. 
And then there is gym shorts and swim trunks. So this drawer has undershirts and more of his roughing it t-shirts which don't really need to be on hangers. These were mainly what he used to wear at his old work so now we are going to be narrowing these down a lot. So the drawers are all decluttered and reorganized, and now all that's left is to clean off the outside. Then I will show you the final results. If you are a guy or decluttering for a guy, I highly recommend using Bath & Body Works Pillow Mist to help keep clothes smelling fresh. Their aromatherapy line has a lot of great guy-friendly fragrances that aren't too cologne -y. I'm using black chamomile on Jose's today. Okay, it's time for the tour. First we have the pajama drawer, as you saw me spray. Then we have jeans and sweatpants. We saved room for when he buys some dark jeans. We have all of his shorts in this drawer, and then t-shirts on the bottom with room for his undershirts that are currently in the wash. To summarize what we are decluttering, we are getting rid of 10 t-shirts, two pajama bottoms, three pants, and five jeans. These are the clothes that he decluttered from his closet in my last video and we are going to just add the decluttered clothes from his dresser into the bag. I hope this video gave you some good ideas on how to update your wardrobe as well as how to declutter and reorganize the clothing dresser. If it did, don't forget to click the thumbs up button and let me know in the comments what clothing item is a staple in your wardrobe. Thanks for watching and until next time, bye.